Yeah, that's good. And then I kind of want to, I want to play this. And that could be contrasted with later on. Okay. Let's give it a shot. If you've been with me this far, wish us luck. <clears throat> Sirs and madams, wherever you are, we're going to do a recap of where we've gotten to in composing a ballad in C full tonality. We are in part four, which is variation three. In today's and yesterday's work so far, we've gotten ourselves all the way up to a third variation. We started with a traditional melody. We added a backbone and we added a cadence. And we used three C major traditional chords to do that. From those, from that melody, we listened and extracted a backbone. Da, 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 da. And then we also went back and added those chords, which is the cadence. And we said we're following a design approach. And the design approach that we're following is using reference sheets that talk about in traditional composition, notes that are root notes, notes that are mode notes, notes that are active, and notes that are neutral. And we use those notes and we construct chords, chords that are tonic and have a, a rest energy like this little house symbol, chords that are what you might call floaty, and chords that are dominant, that have that eh, active, urgy energy. And then in today's work, we ran into a, another kind of chord, ambivalent. It has, a, it has both rest and urge in the same chord. Then we said that depending on the order you put these chords in, they can have different energies. And we used the idea of telling an energy story in our, in our ballad, for example, the overall first line might be a clashy sound and then resting. But within that line, there were two sub-cadences that went from rest to clash and then rest, rest. And then in the next line, we had clash to urge instead of clash to rest. And that went from a clash, clash to an urge, urge. And we called this our energy story. And this is what we mean by a design approach, is to use our reference sheets, which you can see kind of summarized here in the pop-up view. Now, in particular, in our design approach, We said we're going to compose in C full tonality. And what is C full tonality? We said, we said, well, in traditional C minor scale, it has seven notes. And in a tr traditional C major scale, it has seven notes. But if you put all the notes of the two scales together, you get 10. And we used our design approach sheet to, to demonstrate that. We said, here are the C minor, C major notes all put together. And if you count them up, you get 10. And then he said, also, traditional chords are 7 in C minor and 7 in C major. But if you allow putting all the notes together, you get 20 traditional chords. And then we used our design sheets to kind of uh, mention what are traditional chords and what are 
they are the 3, 3, 3, 4, and the 4, 3. It's called a diminished and a minor and a major. Said, so, well, all well and good, all well and good. Now what? So in variation 1, where the 1 is here, we said we're going to use major chords and we're going to stay in the traditional, the 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 4, 4, 3, 3, 3. And that's what we did. And they were over here. We used these three chords. Then we went to version t variation two, and we said, well, let's stick in the major scale, but let's use what are called extended chords. And what are extended chords? Those have non-traditional intervals. Uh, and in particular, we picked two, 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 three, two, and four, two. And those sound like this. And we said, well, it sounds weird. However, they still have the same function. It's either a rest energy, a floaty, or an urge. And if you go back and forth between these chords, you get what we call the energy story. So that was the second variation. In part four, which we're in the middle of now, we're working on a third variation where we want to use chords from both minor major added together. Now, in the first variation, the design approach we followed was we started with the melody, da, 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 and then extracted the backbone and extracted the cadence. And we call this kind of an informed choice approach. It was informed because culturally I and we are used to those three chords. And also we listened as we entered the melody, we listened to it and picked what we liked. And we listened as we entered the backbone and picked what we liked. And then we listened as we entered the, the chords that we felt went with the melody. And we listened to what we liked. The thing that has happened to us in our third variation who could have seen this coming? If we're if we're going to be saying, and here we are, here's the tonic subdominant dominant in the traditional chords, here's the tonic subdominant dominant in the extended chords. When we got to full tonality, we picked ourselves a tonic, we picked ourselves a dominant. There's no subdominant. Oh my God. So now we had said, okay, we're going to punt and we're going to use an ambivalent chord. And then as we were deciding, should we use uh, all traditional, uh, all extended, or a little bit of both? And we ended up saying, we're going to use up a little bit of both. And, and that's what we've done here. Here's our 3-3 uh, three, three is a traditional chord and it's a tonic function. 3-3 three, three is traditional and dominant. And then 2-4 is an extended chord and that's the ambivalent that we picked. And so these are the new chords we're working with. And it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. We started with variation one, and then variation two, and now we're going to variation three. And this is as far as we've gotten. We got through the, the line one hook and the line one suspend and with cadences, and then we really took time to remind ourselves that cadences tell an energy story. And that first line that we just showed you overall is a clashy sound and coming home to rest. And we call it the hook. It's grabbing our attention, but it keeps us home, but it grabs our attention and keeps us home. Line two, the overall energy is clash urge. It pokes us with a clash and then takes us ah, into the urge energy. And we originally called that a suspend phrase. So here's how those cadences sound. And we also said we're hiding the old melody. 
We'd already hidden the old backbone. We suspect we're going to have to we're going to have to do a reverse approach. We're going to have to start with our cadence. From it, pull out a cadence. Whatever this is, cadence. Then go to the backbone, and then to the melody. And we'll see how far or how close we've come by then. So we're not. All we're going to listen to is the cadences here. And then we were going to start repeating the hook, and then we got tired and said, it's time for a recap. And that's what we've done. Sirs and madams, wherever you are, thank you for your attention. Please, if you like this channel or have comments, make comments here or wherever you saw it. I am open to feedback. And as always, keep on streaming.